Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Hi, guys. Hello, Saru. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, yes. Hi, man. Welcome. So Welcome. we are live. I see Tom Sniper was in the chat. Hi, Tom. Can you hear me loud and clear? Yes. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I think the players are in the lobby. So we can start streaming this semi final uh, from the red division of the Golden Bow Cup. Let's see. Okay, I'm starting the, the lobby now. Okay. I will let you know when I'm in the game and I will pause uh, my game because I'm streaming from uh, Capture Age. I, I already started it and I am in one minute. Okay, okay, perfect. Just wait for me. Perfect. Okay. I'm at minute uh, 104. Okay. I'm pause there. Let me know. I got you... it. Yeah, so. Three, two, one, let's go. And we are live. Nice. Okay, guys, so this is Golden Pit uh, map, surrounded by a tiny wood line and with the players close to each other. So uh, we have a lefty Saxon uh, in blue with uh, uh, ink Incas. Lefty is together with the Tar Tarn Hunt and uh, PM. So... Mm -hmm. Pocket is uh, PM with the Magyars and Tarn Hunt uh, is, is the other flank with the Koreans against um, Weber, Pauls, uh, Pabli Mango, Magyars and Mayans Golden Royale. Have you played on this map, uh, Seru? Um, yeah, actually I played on this map uh, in one tournament, uh, but not in Sudden Death. Uh, okay. uh, I think let's talk about the, the, the sieves, uh, because mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, uh, very interesting. Uh, but, by the way, Golden Royale is um, walling off uh, blue uh, berries. I don't know if you can see that. Yes. It just walled off. Very interesting. Yes, but there is two, two uh, berry bushes, uh, so maybe oh. it's not that big deal. That's true. But yes, it, uh -huh. yeah, w uh, what about the civilizations? What can you tell us? Uh, yeah, so I, I just saw that uh, there is a Koreans. Uh, I think the Koreans will making a tower rush uh, because uh, in the middle there is no gold. Uh, so most of the most of the players will be doing a tower rush or or a castle drop. Uh -huh. uh, the Majors is is very good because uh, the scouts is cheap and uh, the the main unit uh, on this map in the middle and at the beginning is, is mostly scouts and and, uh, and spears. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think the, the pole, uh, pole sieve is a good uh, uh, good choice but uh, only in late game because uh, there is a, a cheap uh, cheap knights but uh, I, I don't know that that uh, the game will be uh, that long to, to make knights because uh, I think uh, players uh, will be finished the game only with castles and <laughs> and that's all. Yeah, that's uh, what happened uh, uh, last night or two days ago when we watched um, this game from the par uh, purple division and they were just cas castle dropping themselves and yeah, it was so hectic and crazy to watch. Okay. Um... Uh, Tan Hunt just lost the, the villager under yellow of TC. Mm. 
lost the scout. Uh, sorry, lost, lost the scout. Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, but 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 they know where is the TC, uh, and uh, maybe they can uh, drop a castle mm -hmm. pretty well now. So so it's it's not not that big problem. Mm. I see everyone has uh, twenty villagers with uh, green having eighteen, yellow eighteen, who oh, and they are the pocket pocket uh, players. Yeah, it's not much not not much different uh, because uh, mm -hmm. the majors uh, going going up with uh, nineteen population, so that's why they have uh, two villagers uh, uh, less. Mm -hmm. And everybody clicked up except uh, for two players. No, now everyone is uh, on uh, going up to feudal. Uh, there is a nice walling from uh, Weber. Sorry, Golden Royale protecting his wood line. Hmm. Yeah, and I I think uh, the the wood lines is 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 not not uh, not good because uh, mm -hmm. you you have to build the wood line uh, uh, next to the the sides wood line because you have to cut cut through yeah. and uh, and uh, start collecting uh, gold as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah. So so most of the lumber camps is is is, is not good because they are just uh, taking. Uh, I see. Yeah, I mean, probably the only one is the red. Red uh, made a good choice in the yellow as well. Yeah, yeah. Red, red, red and yellow uh, know how, how to play on this map. Mm, yeah. Uh, okay, T Tarhu just just realized that uh, he, he has to cut through yes. somewhere. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Oh, uh, Weber making an archer range, uh, but uh, there is no gold, so I, I I don't know what he wants to to make. Yeah, I see bubbly mango uh, going uh, scouts towards blue, but green has scouts too, and there is one spear uh, in defense from blue. Yeah, so Major starting uh, starting with scouts. Uh, Tarhunt uh, is uh, start uh, tower rushing. Yeah. The purple. Good reaction uh, from purple with uh, one archer and a scout. And he just denied the, the watchtower. Wow. Uh, we have a watchtower from blue towards red as well. Uh, Yellow tried to help, uh, but green uh, came in support to blue. So that tower is going up. The blue tower is going up. Mm. Yeah, there, uh, there is no gold on this map. Yeah, I I haven't realized that. Oh, I uh, probably I forgot about that. Uh, second tower from blue towards Golden Royale and scouts from green to protect blue. Uh, bubbly mango with two scouts, but that that is not enough. So good aggression from blue and uh, and green. Really great uh, teamwork here. Oh, uh, act actually, uh, there there is a team bonus for for pause uh, that uh, the stone miners uh, generating gold. Uh, so that's why oh. he making archers. No way! Wow, very smart. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, very well thought. Oh, indeed, he's uh, he's mining uh, stone purple with Paul. Mm. Very interesting. Yeah, blue blue is tower rushing, uh, but red is making skirms against skirms yeah. and tower. That's pretty uh, pretty interesting. I think I think the the best play is, is go for scouts. Mm -hmm. And maybe if the enemy making only spears, you can make some skirms to kill them. But uh, maybe it's not not the best start. Yeah, I'm watching purple uh, uh, um, 
facing uh, a TL, um, Tan Hunt, and Tan Hunt is making a watchtower close to his uh, TC because Purple has um, skirmishers and few archers. And the first to cut through, I think, is red. He's nearly. And, and Yalov as well, but Yalov has to protect his villagers from uh, till uh, till uh, scouts. Mm. Green is doing 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 a great job because he he tried to deny the yellow wood line. Yeah. Because uh, I I think the the biggest damage uh, if if you can uh, deny. The enemy uh, cutting through and and getting gold. And I'm watching green slaughtering uh, uh, purple villagers. Yeah, it's nice. That's really really good. Yeah, Golden Royale has his villagers under blue tower, so he cannot gather that uh, berries. But yeah, well played from uh, green. Oh, now Red is tr is destroying the tower with uh, just the villagers, getting back his uh, zone. Mm. Good reaction from uh, Purple, who is now defending with uh, archers and skirmishers. We have a forward tower from Teal towards Purple. Uh Yellow is the first who who cut it through, and uh, he can go out for yeah, the gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And re red is the second one, but they didn't realize that. Maybe uh, they are microing something. Mm -hmm. And green is going castle. Green is going castle. Uh, mm. Red cleared, uh, cleared the, the watchtowers, so he can get his uh, economy back. But yellow, but yellow is pressuring purple with a, a second uh, watchtower. Mm. Yellow is pressuring. Mm. Yellow, yellow, yellow is diving into blue wood line. Yeah. Uh, defensive tower from purple to defend from uh, teal. But, but we should expect a castle from uh, um, uh, PM. PM mm. has has not that much stone yet. Only 176 uh, stone. He's he's not on stone. Mm. More killing uh, from green towards purple, but yellow is helping him, so he should be able to defend from a green attack. And now PM is in uh, castle age. Mm, pur purple uh, losing a lot of villagers again because uh, he is not walling uh, his wood line. No, and also he's uh, he's under attack by Till with the t more towers. Maybe it's the best best uh, if uh, you just go out with your villagers uh, in in the yellow uh, yellow wood line, and uh, your villagers will be safe outside. Right. Um, Red is losing uh, his skirmishers against the uh, green scout. Uh, it, it is light cav, it's a bit stronger than only mm -hmm. scout. Mm -hmm. Sorry, light cavalry, yeah. Light cavalry, yes. Yeah, because because PM is, is in castle age. Yeah. Uh, maybe he sells some stone for gold and uh, he, he just go up. Mm -hmm. uh, he has... He still has uh, 200 stone. I don't see him going 
on stone for some reason. Yeah, it's interesting why, why you don't uh, go for stone. Yeah, he because... could have uh, placed a, a castle. He's going um, light cavalry and he's now um, raiding uh, yellow. Mm -hmm. We have a good raid. Uh, PM has 48 villagers against the 35 uh, from Bubbly Mango. Hmm. And now Lefty, Lefty is a uh, castle age as well. The only one having lots of stone is Golden Royale though. And uh, PM is making more kills. He's still f chasing uh, purple villagers who are just trying to go to uh, red base. PM started uh, making knights. I I don't know how. Okay, two knights. Maybe he, he he's using market. Uh, because I didn't see any any gold mine from him. Yeah, now he's on stone at the back of his face. And uh, turn hunt his castle uh, uh, as well. He could he could place a castle into purple base. Yes, and 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 he has to. Yeah, he has just blocked it. I think he has uh, he has the stone to make a castle very soon. But we have a castle from uh, uh, Golden Royale to defend his base, and he's just in front of um, um, Lefty uh, TC, so he can reach uh, the TC with uh, his castle. Oh, that, that's nice. Yeah, this is really good. Oh, he missed the wall, and uh, the uh, the green scout oh, is inside. Oh no! But yeah, I think it's going up for sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm, this time, if if you don't have enough enough stones to to make a counter castle, maybe you can make a counter tower. Right. Uh, you can build it build it up faster, and uh, then you can garrison, and uh, maybe you can shoot the villagers. Mm -hmm. This is one of the strategy against it. Okay, uh, red is hitting uh, blue TC, but Till is uh, placing a castle, but he's out of range, so I don't think. Unless he... What's the tech from university to amplify the range? Well, it is not university, it is in uh, Blacksmith. Oh, Blacksmith, yeah. But the, the Fletching and the Botkin uh, can uh, raise the range and, and the damage. Right, okay. Yeah, um, Left is trying to repair the castle. I don't see patterns from... Um, uh, red, he could do patterns. Yeah, but maybe if uh, the blue is uh, garrisoning in the TC, the TC can kill the petards, right. and uh, right. it 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 is too far. Uh, but but uh, if if your castle just shooting the TC is, is enough, mm -hmm. I think. Okay. And of course, the red is uh, outside, and uh, he can he can. Uh, mine some some gold and uh, he, he can make some siege and uh, the castle can defend the siege yeah Weber is having a hard time yes uh, uh, Tom he lost uh, so many bills he is down to 32 bills Weber purple Okay, uh, more yeah. uh, repairing uh, coming from blue, and blue is making rams, at least one ram. Yes, purple uh, got it uh, raided, uh, raided by the green, and uh, got uh, tower rushed by by Tarhunt, and uh, Tarhunt is is made a castle, but is 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 a bit too far from yeah. the TC. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the problem. Uh, He's but he. Mm -hmm. He he don't has a fletching yet, so yep. maybe after fletching he can reach the TC. And uh, PM is placing a castle in front of um, Bubbly Mango, 
He's out of range, I think. Yeah. Yeah, but wh why is these castles are, are so far? I, I I don't I don't get it. Um, you you can build it much closer. Yeah. Oh, and he's making a uh, PM is making a castle under um, purple base, Weber base. Meanwhile, red is making a second TC towards blue, and blue is trying to make a, a watchtower to prevent the castle. And we have uh, three patterns. Oh, I think it's going down. Yes. Oh no, blue is out of the game. Wow. That's crazy. Wow, well played. So yeah, left, left is out, but purple is about to die soon. There are two castles, uh, Mangonels, and the PM trying to kill uh, the villagers. Wow. Yeah, purple is going to die. Purple, purple. So this, this is this is two v two. <laughs> yeah, it's two v two, guys. Now. Uh, but red is pu is pushing towards green now. Uh, I think yeah, yeah, yellow is not looking good as well. He has been raided and he has 20, 28 villagers against a fifty nine villagers from uh, PM. Mm. Uh, I green. think yeah. Uh, green is raiding uh, yellow pretty well, but uh, his his uh, TC will be will be in trouble soon because uh, red will uh, making making something there and uh, he has a lot of army there uh, uh, purple, uh, purple is going out of the game in a few seconds yeah. uh, purple TC is going down so yeah golden is making more castles let's see let's see and yeah purple is about to die It's a it's a rush a castle rush. Hmm. Yeah. Golden Roy Golden Royal started uh, hitting the the blue market. Maybe he he wants to uh, deny the the trade, but I I don't think that players have enough gold for making a trade. Okay, uh, Weber is out of the game. It's two v two. Um, Golden Royal has. Built a another castle under just uh, uh, PM, and he's hitting it, hitting it. I th yeah. Yellow is still alive, but I don't know. He's kind of dying with twenty nine villagers, but the TC is still safe. I mean, I can imagine. Uh, wow, uh, PM are making walls probably to defend against uh, patterns, which are. Like, Indeed, out inside the and, red, red castle, and 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 PM has a con uh, defensive castle, but he needs some siege uh, right. against the castle because the castle will killing the TC so mm -hmm. fast, but the other castle uh, just slowly killing the oh, my, dynamic yeah. castle, and this is too far from uh, making petards and killing the other castle because uh, it it will just uh, shoot it. Uh. Oh, um, Tarnhunt is placing a castle near red, yes. Oh, <laughs> nice. Wow. Uh. I don't know. Uh, we have a second castle from red. He's trying to take down a green TC. But uh, Tarnhunt is, is out of the game now. Sorry, uh, Golden Royale is about to lose the castle. Oh, the TC and Golden Royale is out of the game. But somehow he's still able to hit. No, he's not hitting it. Oh, that's it. That's it. Wow. And that's uh, GG. Oh, that was a pretty close game because the yeah. red made, made, made two castles on, on the green. Uh-huh. Uh, but yellow didn't made made any castles. Maybe, maybe that was a bit yeah, uh, misplay. 
Yeah, PM uh, played very well. He raided them. I think that uh, uh, yeah, he, rewarded he, he raided them. everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's what make uh, made the difference. Yeah, ni nice game. Nice game. Yeah, really nice. Uh, okay, so we have a one zero four. I'm gonna change the titles. The uh, team names. So we have disaster piece. Yeah, GG. Tom Snuffle, GG. And cataphracts. There you go. One zero, guys. What a match. Right, I see they had a lobby for the next one. Mm. So let's see, go, oh, let's go back to. I'm I'm just uh, checking the stats. Uh, okay, yeah. And and PM killed uh, almost uh, 200 uh, units. <laughs> wow. This is pretty high because the the enemy, the the biggest enemy kill is only 75. Uh, red killed the the most buildings. Uh, I mean, raised the most buildings. PM ha had uh, the best economy. Yeah, PM is really strong. Really good. Most go most go uh, most uh, stone for st for tar hunt uh, and most gold for golden royal. Because of his name, of course. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know why Bubbly Manco was the pocket posi uh, one, right? Mm. Uh, let me. See. I think he was the pocket position, Bubbly. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I, I probably Golden Royale should have been pocket, like uh, being the highest player for that team. PM was the highest uh, player from um, their yeah, team. But, does yeah, it, but not that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Does it change? I mean, is it more important to have the highest player being pocket? Uh, I think not, because if the highest player can be uh, more aggressive on on the side, maybe he can mm -hmm. he can uh, push uh, pretty well. So it's not not every time uh, you you have to be pocket, uh, but with with Magyars, uh, uh, you you need to make a lot of scouts and just to just to raid the enemy and uh, uh, you you will have a really good food economy, but maybe not go for stone in early. So that's why it's good if you are pocket because uh, you are a bit uh, far from the enemy. Uh, and uh, you can make just only scouts. Uh, so that uh, I think the positions was was good, but uh, yellow had uh, ha had to make more scouts. I think. Got it. Uh, I I think players are uh, just uh, don't think that uh, making a strong feudal is is. Uh, is going to be uh, enough strong, but uh, on this map uh, there is no gold, and uh, if you just uh, stay in feudal and just raid the enemies, is so strong on this map. Yeah, I like so, uh, I like the choice of having poles 
because of that bonus. Yeah. I didn't really change that much. This this is a hard map. Oh, it is, yeah. Especially uh, if uh, this is a sudden death, because you, you cannot just uh, cutting through and uh, give up the middle and uh, build uh, more TCs uh, outside mm -hmm. and uh, and walling and start booming. Uh, yeah, that so was this, this meant... Uh, yeah, it is hard, but it was meant also to have a, a short match in game one. So I, I I imagine to have like a short uh, short game for game one, um, longer one in game two, and uh, like a, a middle one for the game three. <clears throat> right, the players are still in the lobby and the game has not started yet. Maybe, uh, okay. Maybe we can uh, make a prediction, guys, if you are watching the stream. Start prediction. Five minutes. Okay. Okay guys, I've just started a prediction for game 2, so feel free to cast your prediction with the channel points. You have 5 minutes from now. And I'm just uh, gonna um, fill my glass and I'll be right back to start the game 2. Okay, I'm back. Okay, the game is started, so perfect. Okay, you can then... start spectating. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think they created again the lobby. Uh, uh, Hypnos. Yeah. What game settings do we need to put on? Because Lefty did not know what to. Oh, I posted uh, everything in the channel, so you can see.
that would explain that would that would explain if they were GMT plus zero. Okay, got it, got it. So they changed GMT, but uh, Central um, European countries haven't changed that. So now when players say GMT plus zero, they may, they need to make sure they need to double check here yeah, and make sure is is what they are meant to write. Okay, okay. Thanks, thanks, uh, Tom. Oh, and and when did it change? Uh, it, the GMT. Uh, yesterday on Sunday, Sunday morning. Yeah, there was a bit of a confusion. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, as I said, uh, we'll never host a tournament during this period of the year. Or during an update, a major update, that can be confusing as well. If there is like a major update in the game. Because there is still that glitch right now. The wood glitch. Mm, I think there is more because uh, you can... Uh collecting uh, food from from the wood but uh, mm -hmm. if if you just uh, shift click uh, back to the uh, to the food under your tc the villagers just uh, start going uh, cutting wood okay <laughs> is the, uh, is the path thing okay because uh, today i played a few ranked matches and i don't know the units were going in places where i, I wanted uh, for them to go I, I don't know if I was me or it was like a, a pathing issues. I have no idea. Could it be? Um, have you experienced uh, something about the pathing, or or maybe it was just me being a new a noob? I I think the pathing is 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 never perfect. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was clicking and they were just going on the opposite side. I don't understand. Maybe I wasn't clicking properly. I have no idea. Maybe you played Mirror. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think, yes, yes, we have the game, guys. I'm just launching the lobby. We are about to start game two. Ten seconds left before we start. So I will pause uh, at one minute. Or Seven. we can just start because I, I'm in inspected. Okay, okay, yeah. Italians. Oh, okay. Uh, right, give me a second. Spectate with capture age. Okay, I can pause at uh, 30 seconds. Mm, I am in 37. Okay, uh, let me pause at uh, 50 seconds. 50, okay, go, 50, go 50. for there. Okay, I am at uh, 50 seconds. 5 0. Yeah, I got it. Okay. okay. 3, 2, 1. Go. go. Let's go. All right, guys. Um, new map, game two. Uh, this is a Cam Canberra map. Let yes. Me... Yeah, Canberra map. Yes. And so, PM team, PM team um, has uh, Persians with the PM. Then uh, Turn Hunt. Is in the pocket position with Spanish and lefty on the other flank. Sorry, on the uh, Tarnanti's flank, and uh, the other flank is lefty with uh, Italians. The other team has a Goth with a Golden Royale in the pocket position. Yes, Berbers for Bubbly Mango. And Italians for Weber. 
I'm curious to see how they are gonna play in the in the middle of the map because we have the thirty hundred um, fish uh, tile. Mm. <laughs> I see uh, blue and green has a dock already. I all the other players has no docks. Oh, can can you see that uh, yellow is uh, is uh, lur luring the deer with the with the king? <laughs> Actually, this is working. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw players in the yesterday doing that. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, really good. He deleted the palisade though, but it shouldn't be an issue on this map. Yeah, yeah, so uh, on on this map, uh, you you can just use your king uh, in early to to uh, to scout, uh -huh. and uh, you you need uh, you you have a castle, so uh, you have to choose a, a sieve who has a good unique unit. Mm -hmm. uh, so the the Spanish is good, the Italians is good, uh, maybe the Berbers is good because of the camel archer is is so strong. The goat, goat is good as well. You can you can spam units. Mm -hmm. uh, the the Persians maybe he picked Persians because uh, of the good economy and uh, because of the uh, the wood bonus in early and uh, he he wanted to go for water. Right, uh, PM reached the feudal age. They are having the control on water, and the other players are not even uh, trying to go water. That's interesting. Yeah, the water uh, could be a good uh, bonus in early, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's not that big deal uh, later, I think, because uh, you have to kill the kings on the land. Right, yeah. But they could have a bomb bombard uh, galleons later in the Imperial. Uh, yeah, the the cannon galleons are pretty st strong, but uh, mm -hmm. you need a lot of time for that. And uh, if you're playing aggressively on on the land, maybe you 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 don't reach the cannon galleon right. in time. Mm -hmm. mm. Did you play this map in the tournament? Yes, you have it. You have. Yes, we, we played one game, but uh, we just didn't have any tactic and uh, we just played for fun. <laughs> right. So yeah, you need some strategy here, solid strategy. Uh, yeah, uh, we just watched the other games and uh, we, we tried to uh, learn something uh, from, from, the, uh, from the others. Mm -hmm. Right, I mm. think everyone is reaching castle. They clicked up. We haven't seen any fights yet. So just booming. Just booming. I see you. I fire a galley uh, from PM, but there isn't much to the to destroy. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's not good uh, uh, if if you want only boom and uh, let the middle for the enemy. Mm -hmm. Maybe you you need to make some fire galleys to uh, to try to kill the the fishing ships or or maybe. Uh, uh, the the enemy has to make some fire ships to defend, and uh, they cannot boom uh, because of that. So uh, this this is not the best if you, if you just uh, let uh, let this happen that easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now uh, Lefty is making farms, although he had a very good. Uh... Uh, for the economy, because the fish uh, tile in the center. 
and everyone is is uh, in castle except from for lefty but Darn Hunt has uh, Conquistadors and is attacking uh, Red, who's making um, uh, what's what's the name? Genoese crossbowman. Yeah, may maybe Tar Hunt uh, has to attacking some uh, someone else because of uh, because of this uh, unique unit. You you cannot do anything with them, I think. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. So are co conquistadors stronger than uh, Genoese crossbowmen? Uh, I I think not. If you have the right upgrades, uh, mm -hmm. so maybe I I pick someone else. Well, he just killed uh, two of them, but yeah, two Genoese castle protecting. Yeah, but but their hunt is is microing uh, the conkeys mm -hmm. pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's still alive. Still alive. <laughs> yeah, one kill down. Killed. Fred has twenty eight. Villagers as uh, Tarn Hunt does. Uh, Genoese from blue as well. Genoese. Yeah, and uh, Bubbly Mongo is uh, starting making Camel Archers and some Siege. So maybe he, he wants to push. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Camel Archers, yeah. Moving now towards the, the galley, the green galley, PM galley, and the galley is down. More conquistadors for, from turn hunt, disrupting uh, red. Hmm. I I don't like that uh, they just uh, let the the goat booming because it it will be so hard. <laughs> mm. So uh, uh, with, with the conkeys, I I just go for uh, 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 go for the yellow and and make try to make some damage there. Yeah, yeah. Probably delay, delaying the Huskar spam. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to change uh, the title. I think I changed the wrong settings. I will do it later. Yeah, you can just rename the, the VOD. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I mean here in Capture H. Oh, okay.
Uh, pause the game. Yeah. Is it paused for you? Yes. Okay. So we we don't have to. Uh, uh, so we are we are at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna change that. Oh, oh God, the fucks. Oh, that's why. Yeah, this is your time to change the. Yeah, that, that's yeah. Title. <laughs> Uh, final. Yes. Okay, they started again. I'm watching a minute uh, 20 seconds. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Mm, okay, I pause a bit. Okay, 30 seconds now. Shall we pause at uh, tw minute 21? Uh, yes, I think. Okay, I will pause at minute 21, zero, zero. Okay. I'm, at the... I'm there, I'm there. Okay, give me a sec. I'm gonna just double check something. Okay, uh, ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. We are back, guys. <clears throat> um, PM is making a barrack into blue base. And turn hunt is just uh, killing those uh, camel archers with a hit and run. It's a bit slow, mm. this game. I expected more fights. Yeah, um, so the player started uh, researching the Imperial, mm -hmm. uh, so maybe they they will finish the boom soon. Uh, PM is on, on uh, 110 villagers, uh, and the Golden Royal has uh, 86, wow. but the others are just around uh, 50. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 40C, as you said, uh, for PM. Yeah, I think PM is gonna be powerful. I don't know why our Golden Royale is still 88. He ha oh, because he has three TCs. So PM was super booming. Yes, with four TCs and uh, he's, he's Persian, so his TC is uh, working faster. Yeah, Golden is just booming. Oh wow, okay. Uh, blue castle up uh, towards uh, purple base and lefty is Imperial. So he has a trebuchet ready to hit. And PM reached uh, Imperial as well. Mm. They look like... Uh, I don't know, maybe better organized? What do you think, PM team? Uh, yeah, they, they had a better boom, but uh, I, I don't know that uh, what Star Hunt will, will do against Weber, because uh, I don't know what Spanish can do against uh, Genoese crossbows. And the Huskars is good against the Genoese, the uh, the blue uh, uh, um, player, but uh, maybe PM will making uh, making Savars uh, against the Huskars. Yeah. But there is the Camel Archers and uh, against the Knights. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I see Le uh, Lefty. He just uh, abandoned the idea to take down Purple. Uh, castle because Golden Royale is sending the Condottiero. Condottiero and those Condottiero destroyed one trebuchet. They don't care about the castle being under blue range. Uh, yeah, the Con Condottiero is the unique unit uh, for the for the Italians and and uh, the Allies can make Condottieros, but I don't know why is it better than the Huskar. Right. 
Uh, they are literally eating up a blue castle. I'm just watching. Uh, but blue is defending very well with the Genoese. So they are pushing back uh, yellow and purple. So that's a major uh, attack there. Uh, by the way, red is uh, 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 trapping down uh, Teal, Castle. Teal is still in Castle Age, together with the Bubbly Mango. So the two flanks are still in uh, Feudal Age and Castle Age. And we have uh, Bombard uh, Cannons from Blue as well. Those Condottieros seems to die. Yeah, but Condottieros is is uh, is uh, is is good against the hand cannoneers because they have a a bit resist. Mm -hmm. uh, not that much. Uh, Okay, Red is uh, entering uh, Teal base, and Teal has no army. He has no army, so probably Green could help him. Yes, uh, because uh, Spanish uh, can make only conquistadors and knights, uh, so maybe he needs some siege against the Genoese. Mm -hmm. And of course, the Persians is not not really can help here be, uh, with the knights. Mm -hmm. Maybe with some some uh, some uh, war elephants. Yeah, I think uh, PM and Lefty they should try to push uh, uh, into purple base. But yeah, purple now is helping uh, on the other side. Uh, they will destroy it here. Yeah. And Teal has uh, his king in the TC. The TC is about to. No, he has not the king. The king is some should be. I think it's uh, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere else. Yeah, he wasn't there. Yeah, Teal has just lost a TC. And Bubbly, trying to save the castle against the bomber cannons and the traps. Defensive the castle from from yellow into purple base but the pressure continues uh, into tail base tail uh, down to 69 villagers compared to 66 66 of uh, purple and purple oh no he lost the king i can't believe it oh yo yo have you seen that oh yeah no man oh yo this is uh, outrageous he didn't move the king. Oh, that's gonna change. That's I gonna think, change. I think he, he just forgot it. Yeah, he forgot, of course. But yeah, this is not a game where you, you have to forget these things. No, unbelievable. This is unbelievable. So, guys, three versus two. Uh, I mean, Till is. Okay, Teal has uh, skill missions, which are good counters against the Genoese. But they Teal are... is on one TC, yeah. uh, so it, it, it could be uh, a game still. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I don't know how, how, how to defend uh, with yellow against uh, this combo. Mm, maybe there is not that much hand cannon here and you can start spamming Huskars. Okay, now uh, blue and green are near in front of a, a Golden Royale base, so Golden Royale has to defend with his um, Condottier Huskars, he has Huskars. Yeah, finally. This is this is a bit better, I think. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Stumming Huskers. And pushing back uh, those Genoese. 
Yeah, but uh, he needs something against the hand cannoneers, and mm -hmm. uh, he he has to kill the the bombards. Yeah, because he will losing the king. <laughs> uh, Weber Weber is attacking uh, now. Green is near uh, the green uh, base. Okay, uh, Weber just researched a treason. So they oh they are looking for to snipe the king. Uh Tail King is going to blue base. We have blue castle. Yeah, um, but but the yellow king is go uh, going into the the yeah. red castle. Yes, yes. Wow, Askers now destroying all the green uh, castles. Red making another castle into Till base. Golden desperately trying to keep alive uh, his castle. But it's not enough against the bomber, bomber cannons and the tre trebuchets. Yeah, PM team uh, f uh, pushing faster a bit uh, mm -hmm. than than the red, uh, and uh, of course there is there is Star Hunt, and uh, he started rebooming re uh, on on the north. Right. So that could be a problem. Golden Royal down to sixty eight villagers. He's not investing anywhere else, so... And PM managed to kill a few traps from uh, from Red with the Savars. But the um, Genoese are there, and they are perf perfect counters to Savars. Are they? Um, yeah, but, uh, but Golden uh, making a pretty good defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Golden sending the Huskers. <clears throat> but P PM has a much better economy than, than the Red, and mm -hmm. uh, he can just uh, trade with, with Savars against Genoese. Uh, probably Roy, uh, um, Golden should uh, rebuild into Tila base. But, I mean, he's, he's defending him very well in the base against Blue. Now Sabars um, countering Red Genoese. Yeah, because of the number. And of course, the 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 Persian knights has a bonus attack against the archers, mm -hmm. so that's why is it is it much better? We have another castle from Lefty into a Golden Real base. I would say it's not looking good now for a Golden Weber, unfortunately. Yeah, they were pushing well. Uh, shame that. Uh, Probably Mango lost the king. I mean, yeah, they just call it. I see they called GG.
50 villagers. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, maybe purple don't don't have to go to the bottom and help red to push Tarhunt uh, with with the uh, with the camel archers because he he had uh, all all the units to defend. Mm. I don't think he, he is able to defend with these. Um, yeah. The I, I mean, he he could have get some time for himself, but yeah, they they don't really do that much. I mean, I've. Uh, fully upgraded hand cannoneers and yeah they kind of counter ghost and they're also fine against the camel archers yeah of course this this is not enough but uh, but but you need everything and uh, i i don't know that uh, what happened if uh, golden uh, making huskars and not uh, condottieros maybe it's a bit better against uh, uh, against the uh, genoese crossbows Okay, there is some hand cannoneers, but condottieros don't have uh, that much uh, uh, defense uh, against the hand cannoneers than than Huskars has against the Genoese. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But I, I mean, it is kind of obvious that God spam is coming, so I 
just tagged into hand cannoneers, and I guess that's a big issue for them because, I mean, he can spam, but all of our units counter their units on this side. Yeah, of course, yeah. So, yeah, I guess it is a tough match from that point. And also, I was kind of surprised that nobody went for water because I think it, it gives us a good boom, and also my castle age timing was kind of competitive. Even if for uh, even the fact that I'm going for water and one fire galley, I was kind of same castle age time than the rest. So, yeah, I was kind of surprised after seeing that they didn't even dock in castle age. And yeah, I don't know if this is good or bad. I can't really say, <laughs> but I think it gives us an advantage early on. Yeah, but the but the bottom front. Uh... Th there was uh, there was your problem because the the Spanish and and uh, and the Persians c cannot do much against uh, the Genoese. Uh, maybe Tarhunt can make some siege against it, but uh, but the knights is not working there. So there there the enemy can push, but uh, you can push faster on the north maybe. Yeah. Also, I I wanted to push on the north because probably is way higher than Weber, so I thought Tarhunt is maybe fine against him. I didn't expect Weber to be this far ahead, but uh, yeah, he held it kind of well, and he did his best also with Weber getting support from Golden. But yeah, at the, the top we were just overwhelming. So Tarhunt did a good job uh, moving some wills and also hiding his king. This was very important. <laughs> yeah, de uh, definitely. <laughs> And yeah, after that it's just tough for Golden because he wanted to push with Weber, but my castle's got so much time and on the other side he was losing so much eco due to our early push because it was also very important that we had so much siege because Lefty was going fully traps and doing some bomber cannons and I also had like three or four I guess and then we are just breaking in so fast. Yeah, but also the first game was pretty close. Yeah, the first game yeah. was really another epic match to watch, absolutely. Uh, you almost cost, lost your TC against... Uh, um, he was Golden, golden yeah. yeah. Uh, I expected you to have a castle, because you, you hit uh, for first the, um, uh, the castle. Sorry, the castle age, yes. But you, did, you yeah. haven't uh, pushed the... Yeah, the, the, the pockets. Yeah, I kind of forgot that it is uh, one TC only. Mm -hmm. and oh, that's why. Yeah, yeah, and when I realized it, I kind of went forward with the castle drop on pocket. But yeah, in early feudal, I got so much damage and value out of my scouts. This was so important, mm -hmm. and I felt really good going to castle age because we were so ahead on all sides. Even though Golden Royal had a good eco, and he. I guess he only lost like two or three wills, but the pocket was, I guess, fully dead. He lost like six or seven wills at his woodline early feudal age, and also Weber lost a lot. So, yeah, I felt kind kind of comfortable uh, playing this game, but I should have switched my focus to Golden Royal w way earlier, I guess. Yeah, because yeah, probably. He was pretty pretty aggressive, also dropping two castles on me. I didn't expect this to happen, but. Yeah, luckily we had time to kill his TC first, and yeah, we played good as a team together. Yeah, I think I, I guess, think so. Yeah, I guess Tarant really saved my ass. <laughs> he he kind of had some Vanganels pushing Golden when I was getting pushed, and then yeah, all two armies together just killed his TC faster. So yeah, we were kind of lucky there, but also good team coordination, I guess. Yeah, in, in mm -hmm. yeah, sorry. Yeah. In f in first game, uh, Yellow was the only player who didn't drop any castles. <laughs> yeah, but he he just lost too many builds in feudal age. Yeah, he yeah, but if if he made uh, building uh, one or two castles, maybe it, it will be a bit different. Yeah, definitely. But I guess I was dropping a castle on him when he just got to castle age, so it was probably tough for him. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what resources he had in this position, but I mean, I had a lot more army, a lot more eco, and was dropping a forward castle, and I don't think he can afford a castle and try to get some army out, so 
I guess this was the biggest problem for him in this point. And after I got the castle on all of his stables and his TC, I guess, how uh, is he managing to get a castle as well? He had a lot of villagers out, uh, outside, and uh, he can okay. collect 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 some uh, stone and and gold out there. Yeah, but there was so much stuff going on. Also, I did not know what to do. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this game was uh, so much mess. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was so chaotic. I mean, we got castle drop. They got castle drop. Uh, we were kind of close to lose our TC. Then we pushed them really hard. Uh, they had scouts everywhere. Because I, I also didn't stop to produce scouts, and I guess this was also good because I was kind of struggling to find gold. I was searching. Yeah, I saw to, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it was kind of bad. Yeah, I just you just cut it through, gold. but uh, uh, the gold was just far from there. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit bad for me, but yeah, I just continued scout production, and yeah, then I had a good, good eco damage on them, and... Yeah, my both flanks did very well against the higher elo players. That was pretty important as well. That eco damage was, was so clutch. Yeah, definitely. But also, I guess our strategy strategy was kind of good. We Because we went for two tower rushes. And there's a lot of chaos going on. And they can't go for their usual army approach. And with me being fully untouched and just go hussars and go raid, they have to focus on the tower rush, on their army movement and the raids, and I guess this was just too much for all of them in this case. Nice. So guys, uh, PM, you are going to be in the final, so congratulations. And Thank you. It's going to be best of five, just to let you know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you have uh, two more maps to to check out, and uh, Cataphrax instead will go to the lower bracket, so they still have a chance to yeah. to face you again in the in the final. Uh, yeah. But they need to defeat the other team. So more games yeah. coming up. I will look forward on that. And right, thank you guys for casting. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys, for playing. Uh, we managed somehow to get this game, uh, so I'm really <laughs> happy. I'm really happy. Yeah. So yeah. yeah thank th you for casting. Yeah, thanks, uh, Turnhunt and PM, and also the other players who are not here. And um, yeah, more scheduling coming up, guys. Uh, so what is gonna happen now is that we. We will, uh, Tom Snuffles will uh, take over with a new stream because we have another match just uh, starting probably hopefully in uh, five minutes, five, ten minutes, maybe more. We have another uh, semi final from another, probably, yes, let's see. So, Saru, uh, do you have uh, other questions for us? Um, no, uh, that was all. Okay, guys. So we are gonna raid someone, so we can set up uh, the streaming for uh, the, uh, the next match with Tom Snuffles. So stay with us, or just right. uh, take a break, or whatever you want. All right. And thanks for watching, guys. Thanks a lot. And we are going to raid. Uh, who? Any suggestions? I see Dave is online. The sniper is part of this tournament as well maybe we can raid the sniper aoe he's one of the players in our tournament okay let's let's go in to do that um, nice oh hello mike so mike uh, yes i guess we will start soon i think we need to set up a few things so take uh, take your time. Okay, guys. I'm trying to begin a raid, and yeah, there you go.
let's go thanks a lot uh, guys for watching and yeah. see you in around 10 uh, 15 minutes bye 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 bye, bye, -bye.